friends welcome to let's tune if you haven't subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us also we have courses on science on our website that is www.letstune.com so do check them so let's try to make something fun let's try to make oreo milkshake so this is my standard way of making oreo milkshake uh, we take 1 cup of milk that weighs around 100 grams and we take 5 crushed oreo biscuits that weighs around 50 grams we just mix both of them together and we get a oreo milkshake but what will be the way of this one glass of oreo milkshake of course it will be 150 grams that is 100 grams of milk and 50 grams of oreo biscuit that gives 150 grams of oreo milk shake wait a minute i just added two different things to make something new like i added one cup of milk and five crushed oreo biscuits to make oreo milk shake yes same happens in atoms of different elements if i take element a and if i take element b i add them together to get compound c suppose if element a weighs around x grams and element b weighs around y grams so a compound c will weigh around x plus y grams at 18th century antonio lavoisier he proved some amazing facts about atoms he proposed two very important laws of combination the first law was conservation of mass to prove this experiment he took a conical flask in which he had copper sulfate and he took a test tube in which he had sodium carbonate he carefully placed the test tube inside the conical flask with the help of a thread so that the solutions doesn't mix and he weighed this whole apparatus in weighing machine he got to know the apparatus weighed x grams he just took the apparatus and to perform a chemical reaction he just shook the whole apparatus after the chemical reaction took place he weighed the apparatus and guess what the apparatus weighed exactly equal to x grams thus he stated that mass can neither be created nor be destroyed during a chemical reaction that is mass of the initial reactant will be equal to mass of the final product the weight of the reactants is exactly equal to weight of the products that is kids who don't know what are reactants reactants are the compound before chemical reaction and products are the compound after chemical reaction suppose element a reacts with element b so they are the reactants after reaction we get compound c so c is the product So if you have siblings you'll know that you can't make stuff only for yourself. Give me a glass of Oreo milkshake as well please. Exactly my point. You have to consider them as well. So let's make Oreo milkshakes again. But the problem here is I have to make two cups of Oreo milkshake. I hope you remember my standard way of making Oreo milkshakes. So let's check them. The steps remain the same. For making one cup of Oreo milkshake we took 100 grams of milk and 50 grams of oreo biscuits same for making 2 cups of oreo milkshake we just double the ingredients we take 200 grams of milk and 100 grams of oreo biscuits what are we doing we are just maintaining the proportion of their masses we took 100 grams of milk and 50 grams of oreo biscuits similarly we just double the proportion and the proportion remains the same that is 200 grams of milk and 100 grams of oreo biscuits the proportion of 100 upon 50 is exactly equal to 200 upon 100 that is equal to 2 same in molecules the elements in the compound are exactly in proportion in 9 grams of water 1 gram is of hydrogen and 8 grams are of oxygen If I double the amount of water now it's 18 grams of water then there will be exactly 2 grams of hydrogen and 16 grams of oxygen that simply means the proportion 
of hydrogen and oxygen are always constant irrespective of where it's found whether it's a salty water or fresh water the proportion of hydrogen and oxygen will always be in the ratio of 1 is to 8 That's it for this video. If you want more such amazing videos then do subscribe to Let's Tune. And don't forget to press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Thank you.